Chris Tyson from Mr. Beast is being accused of talking to minors. I just want y'all to keep the same fucking energy that we gave to Dr. Disrespect when this came out. Let's give that same fucking energy either way, right? Let's just keep it, keep it the same. Two videos over the last 30 days outlined an alleged sexual inappropriate relationship with a minor that started with the minor at 13 with plans to meet up at the same minor at the age of 16. Chris uh, Tyson, who now goes by Ava, uh, has yet to respond to these allegations. So, This ain't true. And this screenshot is Chris Tyson talking one-on-one -on -one with him. And at this point, he would have been 16. And here we go. Here is the picture of them meeting up together. I'm gonna censor his face. And as you can see right there, there there's Carl right there, there's Chris Tyson right there. Chris Tyson is talking to this guy since he was 30. I think I think we all know who Ava is. Tyson, if you guys don't know who Chris Tyson is. Of course, this is just it's honestly it's a crazy time. He's able to drive, he takes a camper van out in the middle of the woods, which by the way is very secluded area, let me talk about that. He brought a camper Anytime. van and taught that kid out to the, the woods in a camper van? Bro, that's just weird in general. Someone is taking a camper van somewhere, bringing it out in the desert or the middle of the woods, it, it's very unnecessary because there's RV parks, there's the Walmart parking lot, there's plenty of areas you can go instead of going to a place that's very unfamiliar to you to camp out there, especially in a secluded area. So the real question is, if he was talking to Chris Tyson, who is interested... And at this point in time, Chris Tyson is going to have a following. He's going to have influence of young people who are trying to be like Jimmy and Mr. Beast and that whole group. Just like AMP and just like everything else. Yeah, this is just fucking crazy. ...interested in both men and women since he was 13 years old and Chris Tyson was in college, why did he take a camper van out to see him and take it out in the middle of the woods in this secluded area? And then he met up with him like two days later, like, like the picture was posted. Yo, dude, that just got wild. I'm glad that ended. That was actually kind of crazy. Um, sheesh. Sheesh, sheesh. Chris Tyson uh, allegedly said 14 year old was hot according to Sneeko's testimony. I mean, yeah, but you could, you could, I mean, 14 years old, you just don't comment on someone's fucking attractiveness. But of course, you know, Nick Merckx had to get involved in a situation like this. And uh, I gotta have to say, I'm kind of on Nick's side, so if you don't agree with Nick on this, Probably not gonna like my response either. In the same year, Chris this guy Beast came out and said Ava is a great father to his two-year-old boy or her, whatever the fuck. That's what he said on Twitter. Okay, hold on. To me. I'm remembering what he said. I don't remember the the the, the last part. I maybe don't agree with completely, but you'll see what I mean. I mean, fuck it. This is what I agree. Like, if we were in person, I'd fucking grab him by his neck. What, what, don't speak to me that way. Are you... He wouldn't grab him by the neck. He's, this is obviously Nick kind of puffing up, but it's just like the idea of if somebody had a wife, a kid, you know, had a family, and then threw that family aside to have this new life. And sure, the family can or cannot support it, but this whole thing is just starting to get a little, um extreme right coexist for sure uh you know like your family does it like your your business doesn't have so long it doesn't interfere with mine i can live my life freely you live your life freely we can fist bump have some laughs we're good uh, but i just once kids are involved dude i for me as a person i think the most important thing is the next generation and hopefully you instill that in the next generation that way it's a, this perpetual thing of like you're working not just for you but the people who are coming after you and i'm not trying to take advantage of those people i want those people to have the same if not more opportunities than i had and i feel very blessed i had tons of opportunity well, i had an interesting opportunity in my early 20s 
And I took advantage of it and allowed me to travel all over the fucking United States with my best friends, and it was fantastic. I want to be able to do that for the next generation or whatever the fuck that they, it is that they want to do. But I'm not trying to get in their pants or fuck with anything in their pants or under the shirts. Or you know what I mean. Like, that's, that's the side that I agree with Nick on this. That fit by his neck. What? what oh, don't speak to me that way. Are you out of your fucking mind? He's got his two-year-old boy in heels that fit. There's a concern here. Yeah. And if there isn't for you, then you are part of the problem. It's not okay. It's not healthy. It's weird now. Tyson makes a tweet Fucking stating how one more Patreon man. donation they get and never crumb of tweets. But apparently this dude Chris's girl came out and defended him. Right? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. I don't know if that's a firm yes or firm no, but apparently she was tweeting, like, I don't know who this Nick Merckx guy is and what he's saying about our fucking <laughs> relationship and our family. Okay, let me get a little revisit on that. Can we circle back <laughs> with old Dukes here, huh, Mama? Let's get a nice little circle back, right? Like, I don't want to throw shit at your fucking door, right? I, I, I'm not really trying to, like, drag you through the dirt, but it, but it, but I'm if you want to go toe-to-toe and you want to say things like that, Let's let's circle back and let's revisit those comments about how great your family is because surely the landscape is a little different now, huh? I, 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 I'm fighting to make this comparison, but I'm going to make this freaking comparison. This is no different than just like how the this, uh, Secret Service Secretary Director, the head, the cream of the crop, uh, Sheetle, was just giving non-answers and just obfuscating. When people are asking some of these questions, you don't, they're not always owed an explanation, right? I get that. I'm not even trying to say if someone, you know, like confronts you that you owe them an explanation or something along these lines. But when it's something like this, when you're talking to a, about a minor and that's grooming, there's a lot of different layers to this. I, all I got to say is I think Chris, Ava, um has probably gone through some trauma in their life and has some unresolved personal trauma and it's manifesting itself in this way and it's not healthy um and by enabling it or perpetuating it i don't think is going to help that unresolved trauma become resolved uh and i this is a much bigger uh issue than than just with Mr. Beast and whatnot. I mean, there's a video going around right now of... Perfect. I just type in Elon Musk and this is what comes up. Um, of him saying that he wants to... He vows to kill this woke virus. Which... Considered a virus, I think there's, there's probably some legitimacy behind that. Uh, where I was... Um... I was essentially tricked into uh, signing documents uh, for one of my older boys, Xavier. Uh, this was before I had really any understanding of what was going on. And we had COVID going on, and so uh, there was a lot of confusion. Um, and um, you know, I was told, oh, he, you know, Xavier might commit suicide if if he. That was a that was a lie right from the outset. Incredibly evil. And I agree with you that the people that have been promoting this should go to prison. That's so I was, I was tricked into doing this. Um, and uh... For the three of you who probably don't know, Jordan Peterson is the guy that Elon Musk is talking to. And for the one of you who may not know, this is Elon Musk. You know, it wasn't explained to me that puberty blockers are actually just sterilization drugs. Um, so... Um, Anyway, uh, and so I lost my son, essentially. Uh, so, you know, they, uh, they call it dead naming for a reason. Yeah, I... All right, I'm, so they, the reason it's called dead naming is because uh, your son is dead. So my son Xavier is dead, killed by the woke mind virus. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. I can't imagine what that would be like. Yeah. So, 
Um, yeah, and there's lots of people in that situation now. Right. It's not pretty. And lots of demolished kids. Yes. Yeah, so, well, that's a, good, that's a good reason to be the final straw. Yeah, once more, it's always about this. It, it, I'm bringing this up again. It's always about the, the generation going forward. You want that next generation. If you have, I, ideally, if you have little brothers or little sisters, I hope you can at least relate to this. To where, like, I have a pretty good age gap between me and my little sisters, right? It's legitimately, like, they're 15, 16, I'm 30, right? So it's like, I've, I've lived over their life. So they're, they're a part of that next generation. So maybe this is a reason why I feel so strongly on it. But I want, I, I see so much greatness in them. And I don't want them to have to deal with any of the bullshit that I had growing up. And I only want them to have to, the world at their hands and take advantage of the opportunities that are given to them. I'm not saying take advantage of it the same way that I did, right? Because they got to live their lives the way that they want to live. But I want them to, to be able to do that freely. And I want all of the next generation, not in, including my sisters and, and, and people who I would consider my brothers and, and their brothers and their families and your, your the people in your lives... I want to see that next generation have all the opportunities and more and and not focus if we have a hundred people yes 10 percent of them are going to be super shitty always right don't focus on that focus on the other 10 percent they're going to be extraordinary extraordinary and that are actually going to inspire the other 80 percent that that are just kind of in the middle and are looking for some directions and instead i want to focus on those 10 percent and make them as great as that they can so that they can inspire that 80 to then produce another 100 people and then do the same thing where we're focusing and focusing because at the end of the day you're going to have your, your your bottom 10 percent it's just it's naturally how it's going to work natural selection but at the end of the day we want to keep moving forward we want to keep progressing we want to keep being better we got to focus on being better and passing that on to the next generation all right so let's so i vowed to destroy the mind the work my virus after that And I think the woke mind virus is, I, it feels like the antithesis of that thought. And we're making some progress. Join the club. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I mean, that shit's kind of powerful. I, if it's not to you, then, then, I don't know, maybe... I would love to honestly hear your thoughts and not even try to shit on your thoughts or anything like that. Um, just hear a different opinion. I like hearing different perspectives and trying to get a real true understanding of what, I don't want to say base is, but kind of where, where everyone's at on this.